um, I'm back with a crystal shell and rock collection. Um, and tell you guys a little bit about what I do with them, okay? So, uh, let me know if you like the, you guys like these kinds of videos. I want to see more of my altar, my sacred space, and more of my objects, and learn more about this stuff. So here, we have, um, these purples. And this might be amethyst. I don't know. I think it's just dyed cleared quartz, if you want me to be honest. My sister got some of these from me at the beach. Um, so with that being said, they may not be the best quality. But what I'm thinking with these ones here, and this one, and this one, as well as... Do I have any more of the green? Okay, no. All this right here, this pendant, they're all um, a gate, the purple gate, because I'm pretty sure that's not amethyst. Um, I don't think any of these are amethyst and how, like, for instance, this one has colors running through it and everything. Um, this one might be amethyst, okay? This one's also a gate. This is a uh, moss gate. Next, uh, and... What I would use that for is just like third eye, opening up your psychic abilities, anything that you would use amethyst for, you can use purple gate for. You can do more uh, research. I'll leave some links in the description below, some places you can do some more research on that. And then um, next, I want to show you all my Jasper pieces. So I have a, well, that's a thread. I have another piece like this that would be leopard skin Jasper, and this is red Jasper. And this is used in a lot of healings, and this is really good for staying grounded and just having a better state of mind. This, I don't know if this is selenite or moonstone. I know this is water soluble. It has like, I don't know if if it will focus. It has like kind of these reddish veins, maybe like brownish, running through it. And I mean, it's water soluble. It has like that same that. You see what I mean? Like, as selenite. So, if any of you actually know what this is, please let me know in the comments or the anything like that. Okay? Comments. Uh, these pieces, um, these two pieces aren't as pink, but this is my rose quartz. And this is good for healing your heart chakra, anything to do with love or self love or attracting love, anything like this. And my sister got me most of these from <clears throat> the beach. This, these, this piece that I had. My two leopard skin jaspers I had. I also had a piece of hematite, but I gave that to a friend. And I have a piece of amethyst um, that I also had before that's um, in that sleep jar there. Um, this is clear quartz, and this is good for all-purpose um, amplifying any energies, making moon water, anything like that. Sorry, my nails are dirty. Uh, my garden, so yeah. I've got to take a shower. And then I think this is also more mossigate and then here we have some adventure or aventurine or whatever that shit's called green aventurine aventurine something something along those lines but this this is really good for attracting money and also the heart chakra anything of that sort and then here what i believe this is is rhodonite or that that one kind of looks like sounds like rhododendron but it's rhodonite that's what this is for, and this is good for um, love and relationships and healing those and uh, self-love and the uh, heart chakra, anything like that. This is good for emotional well-being. This is uh, granite. There's a correct term for this. Um, it's slipping my mind. Um, and you can also use this for peace and harmony, and it's also kind of purple. So you could also probably use it for psychic abilities. Um, I have no idea what these two stones are here. Um, it might be a type of a gate or jasper. I'm not sure um, if any of you guys know. She also got these ones at the beach. So. Yes. That's what these look like. And then here, these two pieces. This is hematite. And that's really good for grounding and protection and the base chakra, okay? And then next we have some shells. Um, here. 
what I can tell you is this piece, this piece, this piece, um, this piece, this piece. These pieces all came from beaches in Florida. And then these pieces all came from Ocean City, Maryland, as well as my crystals actually came from there too. Um, and then this piece. And then this holding offerings for Hecate that kind of knocked out. While I'm at it, I'll show you this piece I burned some incense on, uh, which you probably shouldn't do, but I do. It's a piece of a gate, and this is in Wyoming. I had this previously as well. And then we have this rock, this rock, and this rock. Um, and those are from the beach. Now my other collection of rocks is... Uh, okay, that was a fly. Um, this came from my ground. This came from outside. This came from outside. This pinky kind of looking one, um, that came from my sister's boyfriend's house. Found that outside and that looked awesome. And then that up top is also on a beach rock. It was just smaller. And what I will typically do with rocks is I'll meditate and do like grounding visualizations. And they really help me ground and stay balanced um, and all that. So yes, um, I hope you enjoyed this tour of... This stuff, and perhaps I should go into more detail about what I use shells first before I end this. I use shells a lot for um, peace, harmony, intuition, um, connecting with her because obviously she's a feminine goddess that's associated with the moon, and that's lunar, which is the element of water, which are also seashells. Um, I use them for protection, um, connect with the water elements. Uh, I use them as offering dishes sometimes for if I want to sit outside for honey or I want to put like flowers, I'll do that. Those are African uh, African violets. Those are what those are. Um, and my crystals, I mean you can use crystals in jars and bags. You can use crystals to meditate with. You can use crystals for chakras. Um, you can use crystals as talismans, you can charge them with specific property, you can use them waters, you can use it to charge um, oils and herbs, you can do a lot with crystals and the possibilities are never ending. Um, and you can do a lot with shells too, you can make jewelry, also other things, the rocks again, you know, I like to make pendants so that, you know, helps me stay grounded. Um, that's what I enjoy about having rocks. Um, this is now a pendant. I'm not sure. This might go on a dream catcher. And I used to keep them, I, I tend to keep them on top of there and in front right there. Um, on my altar. And, yeah, that, that wraps up this video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, let me know if you guys want to see more videos like this. I will be doing an altar tour soon. And then an update to my name for the shadows as well as the new pages that are in there. Um, and I will be probably skipping the rest of the August tarot card readings because we're almost into September. So I'm going to get started on those and just do September readings and bless those readings out quick and then get October soon if possible. And then, yes. And also, let me guys know if you want to see seasonal altar updates and, you know, different little things because I move my alt around lot um and yeah let me know if you guys want to see any diys any recipes um anything like that don't be afraid to tell me in the comments um and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more like this um and if you like my videos and you want to stay updated in the future um of when i upload new content on my channel so yes um thank you guys for watching have a lovely day loves